Next time someone calls you weird or says you're strange or you're different, celebrate. It's amazing how when you separate from the pack, from the herd, from the sheep, you are guaranteed to get mocked, name called, ridiculed, laughed at, scorned, trying to uh, beat you over the head to tell you you're doing something wrong and you need to do just like everybody else does. And oftentimes this gets us down. We feel bad, we feel sad, and we question ourselves. So I'm saying celebrate this. This is the greatest feedback mechanism that we can get when we start experiencing uh, these, these uh, jeers or negative uh, criticism from people that choose to walk uh, the line of conformity. And the majority of people, it's just easier to conform. And for the people that decide not to conform, guaranteed your life is going to be more challenging, difficult, but you will be true to yourself and the rewards will be plentiful, even if it's simply just inner peace. Living an authentic life reaps just a, a sense of like you're honoring yourself. And when you honor yourself, you feel good, you have more confidence, you're happier. And it's just knowing how to shield yourself and protect yourself and oftentimes ignore all that feedback. I mean, you look at people that have accomplished great things um, and you'll see that they initially, until it became popular, initially they were uh, ridiculed or scorned. And so it's something that should propel and motivate us. Oh, people say I'm weird. People say I'm doing things different. I, from a very young age, very young age, I, I was always, people always said I was different and I was kind of uh, the outcast and on the fringes of the in-group and things like that. And when you're young, when you're very young, you have no sense of self. Your sense of self is wrapped up in other people's opinions of you. And as you grow old or older, you realize, wait a second, I'm on to something here. This whole being me is the path I'm destined or I choose to take. It's where all the ripe fruit is. And it just feels great when you have that courage and self-confidence to really be true to yourself and take all the criticism, naysayers, and things like that with a grain of salt. The way to succeed is to mess up, to fail, to try to do things differently. An experiment, uh, the post-it notes, a great example, was a, an experiment that went awry, that was not their intention to develop a post-it note, but the inventor made some glue that was too weak. I guess he just stuck it somewhere and it, stu it stuck. And he said, wow, that's a great idea for invention. <clears throat> and, and too often times we're just too afraid to fail. And you cannot discover who you are. You cannot push the boundaries. You cannot get outside of your comfort zone until you embrace the yin and yang of life. So you embrace the negativity of things not going your way, of failure, and uh, of the criticism. It, it will let you know you're on the right track. Failure is just the best feedback mechanism, but we're so conditioned not to fail that we just live safe, comfortable, uh, cushy lives. So next time someone says you're weird, say thank you. <laughs>